Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's everybody? Nice to see you. Uh, I was inspired on my way over here also by this gentleman called uh, Scott Fitzgerald. Scott Fitzgerald, the, the known writer, I think he was that kind of person that thought he would, could be anything he wanted. When he arrived to New York, he said something very, very special, and he wrote that back to his lovely wife, Zelda. He wrote, ambition, enthusiasm, and confidence. I declare everything glorious. Wouldn't that be a good aim for this year? I mean, if we walk out of here from in an hour or so from this time, and we say, you know, this, this is going to be a good year. And also, Fitzgerald was interesting because he knew stuff that I think we have to be reminded of. He knew that all of us are, are striving for that golden moment when, when everything comes together. You know, when money and love and aspiration and success, all those things that we strive for coalesce or, or, or crystallize in just a moment. That's what we think we want, and we believe that once that point is achieved, it will endure, it will go on. But we need to be sharper than that. We need to realize that the moment is evanescent. It doesn't last. It's only for that instant, and then it goes away. The important part is the striving. The important part is the, the dreaming. The year is 2004. Uh, the place is Athens. It's the Olympics. A guy comes there called Matt Emmons. He's an American shooter, a uh, rifle shooter. All of a sudden, he realizes that he's in the finals, he's in the lead, and it's only one shot left. What happens? Well, all of a sudden, this barrel, the tip of the barrel, starts shivering. And then what do you do? Could, could you relate to that? When you're this close of closing your deal, you're this close of making the results you want, you're this close of the outcome, you start shivering. Then what do you do? This is a good, good advice. He, he takes down the rifle to take some time. Take time when you get nervous. So he takes time and he shakes loose. Same thing if you get an email, right, that get, makes you angry. Maybe some of you have already received one or two of these today. You get an email that gets you affected. And it's easy to, to just answer immediately while, while you're affected. Gotcha. <laughs> not sure that's the answer. I'm not sure that's the solution. That not, might be another problem. So give yourself some time. Go for a cup of coffee, come back. So he puts up the, the barrel, the rifle, clock 12, and then down to 10, and it shoots off, and it's a 10 again, but on the wrong target. <laughs> but, so the guy next to him goes like, what? Why are you shooting on my? All of a sudden, everything is chaos. The organizers come comes running and say, what, what, what should we do? Should we, should we, should we allow this to happen? Is, is it a 10? No, it's not a 10. It's a what? Zero. Zero. So do you realize it's, it's actually quite well done? I mean, shooting a 10 on this target is harder than doing it on your target. But you have to shoot on the right target. It's not often you, you recall to Nietzsche when you're at seminars like this. But what does Nietzsche say? You, Nietzsche says, resistance and struggle is normal. This might sound like a, a cliché nowadays, but this was actually, he was one of the first that articulated that, that resistance and, and struggle is normal. Normally when, when we get resistance or, or when something is hard, we say, you know, uh, something must be wrong. I must be doing something wrong here. I'm, I'm feeling... Uh, I'm feeling the, the struggle part. And he says, no, that's normal. That's normal. And he says, it should be like that because nothing worth having comes easy. Would you wear a Medal of Honor if you found it? Of course you wouldn't. You would be the ridicule of the company. <laughs> and finally, with, with Nietzsche, what feels easy might not be good for you and what seems tough is not surely bad. It's not going to lead to happiness, it's not going to lead to progress, it's not going to lead to the right outcome if you just find the easy solutions all the time. And on the contrary, he says, what's hard might not be bad. 
It feels hard when you are running and you go uphill and say, now I'm going to start walking because it's too hard. Nietzsche says, you know, what's going to feel good afterwards? Well, the uphill part. Maybe the uphill is your best friend, actually. And my name is Olaf Rolander, and I'm out of here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.